Hello everybody. Uh, well, I'm, uh, I'm a little late to the party on the LSU Kentucky, and I'm also going to explain Alabama Texas A&M. Um, that's that's why I'm a little late to the party. I was uh, uh, I was watching that last night, Alabama Texas A&M, that crazy game. Well, we're going to get to the first things first. LSU is the most by Kentucky, 49. It's either it was for the 49 to 21. Or 42 to 20, whatever, it don't matter. LSU gets absolutely, absolutely demolished. She wasn't even close. LSU got out coaching the first half. In the second half, uh, I mean, uh, what you, what you call it? The Kentucky coach absolutely, I mean, demolished Coach O. And, uh, I mean, he out coached them all night. I mean, Ed Ogeron got on his post game and said, I didn't know L Kentucky had a good run game. That's like saying, I didn't know LSU passed a lot. I didn't know LSU didn't have a run game. I mean, he got on there and really said, I didn't know Kentucky had a run game. This guy has got to go. This guy has no sense whatsoever. I don't know what he's looking at. I, I'm beginning to wonder if he's really knows he's about to get canned, and he's absolutely he just. I mean, the whole team is just gave up, gave up on him, or just trying to lose games on purpose. I don't know. I mean, this guy, he's got to go. It's like he's beginning to be a cancer for LSU. I mean, it, I mean, the, the whole players just gave up on him yesterday. You could say you could see they didn't want to play for him. You could see that they were just, they just totally gave up. They, 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 they played terrible. I think that was their worst performance all year. I think that was their worst performance all year on offense and defense. Uh, UCLA, it was a terrible performance, but, you know, UCLA played better. I mean, they at least scored 27 points. Uh, and then the Auburn game was terrible. That was second, I think, worst performance in the first versus that Kentucky game. Uh, I think I think LSU is going to get absolutely demolished. By uh, Florida next week, uh, and I, I'm saying they're gonna lose by five or six touchdowns. I mean, uh, four or five touchdowns. I don't even think it's gonna be close at all. I mean, they're gonna come to Death Valley. I mean, LSU is so under right now. They have this game at 11 a.m. Really? You put LSU Florida at 11 a.m. When the last time that's happened? The last time that that's happened was 2016, and it was at 12 o'clock. And uh, I actually went to that game. It was a long story. I'm not gonna explain it. Uh, I missed the whole second, first half. I um, got stuck on a bridge on the way of that game. That whole day was was terrible, but I actually got to meet a couple of LSU players that day. So, uh, but anyway, the, the point of the, I mean, the point was that was the last game they played Florida early, in, like early, you know, like that. You know, LSU is terrible. They always put Florida at LSU, and I don't know about at Florida, but Florida at LSU at night, the nightcap, you know, the big, you know, it's college game day's always there. They, I mean, that's that's how terrible this team is. They don't even get no respect from anybody no more. I mean, the whole, I think this, I don't even know if college game day, when they, uh, if they pick LSU again next year, I don't even think they're going to go for uh, pick LSU. Uh, LSU's lost all respect for everybody. I mean, they're, we're, we're getting clowned by everybody. Losing to Kentucky 49-21. to I know Kentucky's 6-0, number 11 in the country. But they haven't really gotten tested yet. They lost to Florida. That was the biggest thing. They lucked up against them. They barely beat UT Chattanooga. Uh, they they beat they beat uh, South Carolina. South Carolina was absolutely horrible. They lost to Tennessee like by twenty five points, forty five to twenty. But I mean, and then some other some other you know cupcake games. But I mean, Kentucky those first six games are gimme games, really. I mean, Florida, I mean, five game, five of the, out of those six games are giving. The Florida game, they played good. They played good enough to win. They kind of got lucky there, like I said. But, I mean, they played good enough to win the game. So, I'll give them credit for that game. The other games, they just lucked up in. LSU, a terrible team. Tennessee, I mean, uh, not Tennessee. Uh, South Carolina, a terrible team. UT Chattanooga. And then the other two games they played were, I think, cupcake games. Uh, I'm sorry if I'm mistaken. They might have played some somebody else. But I think the other two games were... Uh, non-power five teams uh it might be somebody you know that i'm not expecting i have to look it up right now Hold on a minute. look it up real fast i'm interested let me look this up of course i could be sitting here all day and come up take two seconds to look it up I'm look it up all right here we go first game ulm they beat them 45 to 10. Second game, Missouri. Okay, Missouri was their other game. 35 to 28 by a touchdown. Terrible Missouri team, by the way. Uh, barely beat uh, North Texas. Chattanooga, 28-23. Slid by them. At South Carolina, 16 to 10. Only beat South Carolina by six points to a terrible South Carolina team. 
Florida, you know, they'll, like I said, I'll give them that one. LSU, 4221. LSU was, it's, you know, LSU's terrible this year. Anyway, uh, that's, I mean, Kentucky, you know, their next game's gonna be at Georgia. They're gonna get absolutely destroyed by Georgia, by the way. Uh, that's not even gonna be close. But anyway, I'm gonna get off this topic. LSU loses to Kentucky, 42 to 21. Uh, and they just got absolutely demolished. Now, part two of the video, Alabama, Texas A&M. Oh, what a game, right? Oh, my God, I was so happy when I saw Texas A&M won. I, mean, I was so, I was so, well, I mean, I was so into that game. I mean, I had a, uh, I think I said on my halftime video last night, I had the uh, picture in picture on my TV, watching one game and the other one. And I was watching more of the Texas A&M Alabama game because I was, well, LSU was like down 28 or 21 to nothing, something like big, like three touchdowns or something. And they were just playing horrible, so I quit watching them. I was like paying attention to most of the Alabama A&M game. So I could talk way more about this. And I, <clears throat> I don't know if I can get to a lot of it. Boys just kind of get tired of being on here for six minutes talking steadily. And uh, so I'm not be able to get to everything I want to get. But let's get to the obvious. Alabama loses to 40, or let's just, those few words, Alabama loses. It's a glorious day, right? It's a glorious day. It hadn't happened in two years. Didn't happen last year. Uh, 2019 to Auburn. That was their last loss. Uh, so much, not just in Lost Day and them. It was so much she just got snapped in that game. It's like a big tree just got snapped on Alabama. 100 consecutive wins against uh, unranked teams. 24-0 Nick Saban uh, against former assistants. 19 consecutive uh, wins. Not... Uh, Dad Gummer almost got every stat. It was 19 consecutive wins against it was some other stat that 19 consecutive something and then got snapped. So a lot of stuff got broken in that game. Uh, you know, the question that was going around for years, who is going to be the first Nick Saban former assistant to beat the boss? I'll go ahead and say the boss. No, Nick Saban himself. Uh, and the, the answer is... Uh, Yes, there is Jimbo Fisher. I, I thought it would be Kirby Smart. I thought it would be Kirby Smart maybe this year. Jimbo, Jimbo uh, Fisher beat him to it. Uh, anyway, I definitely didn't see this game going this way. Uh, I said it would be close. I thought Alabama would survive. I, I was telling everybody I think this game's going to be close, you know. But I thought Alabama would find a way to win, especially when they're down like 17 nothing Or not 17 nothing. I'm never good with scores. I always try to give them up. They were down a lot. Uh, 24 to 10. They came back and got up a touchdown lead, 38-31. And A&M's office just totally gave out. Uh, the quarterback got hurt. Uh, then he came back in, threw the touchdown. Alabama had a punt. A&M ran down the field, got an interference call that helped him. Put him inside the 15, kicked the field goal, and won the game. By the way, that field goal almost uh, hit the left upright. Uh, that guy got lucky there. Uh, it was like, he was very close to hitting the left upright. You didn't see that game-winning field goal. It's all over everywhere. Uh, the whole everybody rushed the field. I mean, it was like I, I don't know that those A and M fans thought it was like a Super Bowl fun. I guess it was to me. But uh, Alabama lost. I'm not gonna, you know, like I said, I'm not gonna get to everything I wanted to. Uh, they really should have won that game. I'm not doing a separate video talking about it. We'll see. But the uh, LSU Florida preview will be coming out next week, uh, probably Tuesday, Wednesday, something like that. When I get to it, what uh, it'll be out before Saturday. I can assure you that. There we go. We got the two teams up there. We got Florida up there. <clears throat> Saints won today. Also uh, lost. I mean, also uh, didn't get to that. And I'm not even going to make a video about it. Saints win. I hardly watch any of that. Um, but anyway, um, like I said, the preview will be out for LSU Florida before uh, Saturday. I'll assure you that. And I hope you uh, tune in next time. And thank you all for watching. And I'll see you next time.